So when it comes to visuals and graphic Bullet Bowl 3 is not slow slouch. The majority of all backgrounds have amazing colors that help make everything pop out at you. I annoyed how they took their time and went into detail when making the character models look like so realistic. Not only that, but seeing it straight through to the Warhammer-like models of the characters. Everything looks impressive from the field you are playing on to the backgrounds on the characters on the screen. They also did a great job when it comes to the cinematics you get a chance to watch. When you load into a game or in between matches, you get to see how great your job uh, with him. Blood Bowl 3 visuals and presentation are superb as well. When you get see on orc just make a goblin multiple squares back and you seal the girl, it kind of pumped me up. Several times I had a character knock another down and then another character gets to move and I could jump up and down to try to knock them out or cause a casualty. Who doesn't like seeing an elf get pulverized by dwarf, orc, troll or many other characters? This great graphics, visuals and presentations made me want to continue to play more. When it comes to customization in Blau 3, the game has a lot of offer for customization. When you want to create a team, you can choose between 12 different races, which each of the players for your team coming from their respective races. This adds quite a bit of reliability from the get-go. You get the stats on your strength and weakness when picking a race, which hints at how your games might play out. This is especially helpful to new players to the Blood Bowl franchise. You also get a star rating on how difficult is a master respective races. I picked I started with a two star race on the Black Orc and worked my wake up once I understood the game. After I selected my race to the head option to manually click my planner for my team or choose a balanced template. I failed to balance template is because it is a safe option. Otherwise, if you do it manually, you have a million gold to spend on picking players and lesser experience and pep could build a bad seminar functional team. Having this option helped me get off a good start. I had the ability to go into detail on customizing a team logo emblem and I did enjoy all the options available. There were also a few options of picking your team coach. Unfortunately, there weren't many customizable options for the stadium, cheerleading dice or the ball during my playthrough. It seems if over time you unlock more of this option but during my playthrough they were not available which is let down as my teams would be unique as I can make them. I will say the options they have that you can to purchase do look cool. You could have a fun time changing how your players look. They will add a variety and uniqueness to your players. I just hope that free battles pass and premium battle pass have a plethora of good unblockables. To me thought it seems like they want players to buy the cosmetics. This is a big miss in my opinion, not allowing people to have some access to player cosmetics. Something I did enjoy in Blood Bowl 3 was the combat. Uh, now a lot of us already like football, so when you combine that, in turn-based combat it provides any interesting dynamic. CNE did a great job making all of your decisions matter here. You don't have the typical turn-based combat where you can sit back and use our watch ability as a multiple people funnel in and die. Each square you move across the field matters. Each decision you make will decision which introducement you want to choose the prey game matters. Introducements are items or abilities you can use to help you during the game. You can also hit a star player of mercenaries to utilize as well. All this depends on how much pity cash you have. All this can help impact your gameplay overall and help you obtain victory. It was a great addition to the game. Blood Bowl 3 has many scenes going right for it on my opinion. In the depths, combat system provides layers of difficulty that you can just breeze through games. It is very well written and with the voices that come from the characters you can tell that they would speak or say the stuff they do. Graphics and visual looks great, especially in the cinematic sense and when it comes to the game gore. Time customization is good with hopefully more unlockables or launch. Player customization is locked behind microtransactions. Having local multiplayer brings about the camaraderie that's missing for a long time. Uh, I sense you sense and bye bye guys.